Lists in Microsoft OneNote are a powerful tool to organize information, plan projects, or even just jot down quick ideas. You know already how to create lists, but now it's time to take it a step up and learn useful keyboard shortcuts and other tricks to make your work even more efficient. OneNote offers different types of lists, from simple bulleted lists to more complex ones. Here's how to create a basic list. Click where you want to start it. Click Home, Bullets, or if you want to use keyboard shortcut, use the combination Ctrl and Dot to create a bulleted list. As you add items, if you press Tab, you will indent the current item. Pressing Tab once more increases the indentation level. Microsoft OneNote allows maximum 9 indentation levels in lists. If you want to create a numbered list with keyboard shortcuts, use Ctrl and forward slash. Similarly to the bulleted list, if you press Tab in a new item, or by placing your cursor at the beginning of an existing list item, you will increase the indentation. If you want to decrease the indentation, just press Shift Tab. Of course, the indentation buttons visible on the Home tab will work too. Depending on what list formatting is chosen, the list will look different. You can adjust the formatting of your list by clicking somewhere on it and then clicking on the down arrow button next to the bulleted or numbered list button. You will see a gallery of buttons to choose from a gallery of various numbered list formatting styles. Please note that for the numbered list you can not only choose the style but also customize the numbers. If you click on Customize Numbers at the bottom of the gallery that opens after clicking on the down arrow next to the Numbered List button on the Home menu, you will see a pane opening on the right hand side of the screen. There you can both pick which sequence you want to use for your list, but also how the number format is supposed to look like, how the numbers are to be aligned and even what number the list should start at. Alternatively, you can hover your mouse cursor over a list item until you see a small grey symbol appearing to the left of the item and use the corresponding buttons visible on the context ribbon that shows. Please note that these changes will be applied only to the currently selected list item. If you want to change formatting for more items or the whole list, you have to mark all the items and then apply formatting. You can mark more items by hovering your mouse cursor over an item that is at higher uh, level in the indentation structure. This will mark all items indented under it. Or you can hover the mouse cursor slightly above the first list item to mark the whole list. As we have explained it in one of our other videos, you can also tag your list items in order to mark them. One way to do it is to simply place your cursor on the list item you want to tag and then choose the tag from the tags list on the home tab. But you can of course also tag your list items with keyboard shortcuts. The first nine items on the tag list can be applied by using Ctrl plus the number corresponding to that item's position on the list. If the tag you want to frequently apply with the help of keyboard shortcuts does not have any shortcuts assigned, you can always click on Customize Tags at the bottom of the Tags list and then move the tags up and down until your tag is one of the top 9 tags. Repeating the same keyboard shortcut on the list item will toggle the related tag on and off. Please remember that the To Do tag behaves slightly differently. Pressing Ctrl 1 will first create an empty tick box Pressing it another time will mark that item as done, and pressing it for the third time will remove the tag from the item. You can of course repeat that sequence. Being able to utilize lists in Microsoft OneNote is a key to gaining even more productivity with this great tool. Keyboard shortcuts and advanced customization options can both make you work faster and more efficiently, and at the same time can allow your notes to look better visually and be structured in a better way. We hope that this video has helped you improving your skills related to using Microsoft OneNote and lists. Be sure to check our other videos to learn more about various Office applications.